it is Monday, March 21st, a week and a day before D-Day. And today we're doing a shoot with Upbringing Series. It's a really awesome web series where they talk to people, um, young couples, I guess millennials, that are having children <laughs> about what that experience is like for them their pregnancy process their fears and i guess goals and things like that so we're just going to sit down and have a little chat it should be really fun um and then after that we have maternity shoot today with elvin yay so we're really excited for him to capture the last week of this we're gonna work through this tightness it's gonna be good with the upbringing series earlier and now we're about to do a maternity show with Elvin! It's been a really long time since we've seen each other and shot anything together. And today we're doing pictures. <laughs> you want to say anything? Sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the hood, the neighborhood that is. Didn't travel to New York for this one. This is the park near our apartment. We love it. Holla holla, West Hudson County. It's really windy today. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna wait in the car. <laughs> Just call me when you're ready. It's the wind. The wind is a little much. Baby, what are your thoughts on Ikea? We were a modern society. It's a godsend. How so? You can come in here, you can pick up whatever you want and put it together yourself. You don't have to pay a workman a crazy amount of money to build something and put it together for you. That is and nice. At the same time, not about supporting local businesses. I see what you mean. The craft, instead of importing a bunch of things coming from factories. I'm just talking about the shopping experience, too. What do I think about IKEA? Yeah. It's great marketing. It is great yeah, <laughs> You're about to say shit. The entire store. The entire store. I hit my 10,000 steps on my Fitbit <laughs> in this place. I'm going to focus at the task at hand. Baby's tired. We finally settled on something. We got storage units, the Calyx system, Calyx, Calyx system. And now Nick is pulling the car around and I'm sitting here eating chips on a receipt. Mission accomplished. She's gonna put it together tomorrow and we can finally start setting up the baby's room. Kind of. Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy today. Today has been a very good day. So, we've just left what Nick was thinking would be our last doctor's appointment. You thought the same thing. No, so no I didn't. I didn't. Because I, I said, I said potential last because it could be up to 40 weeks. But they could come later. And I, I think our baby's going to be a little, a little tardy to the party. <laughs> and apparently the doctor thinks so too because... Um, apparently I have a high cervix and the baby has not dropped at all. What? Huh? You said people don't need to know that? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's science. We're at 39 weeks though. Like I'm at the low end of the spectrum of going into spontaneous labor. We're going to see Dr. Kearse again. And then hopefully, maybe, baby will be ready to be taken out of the oven or maybe it'll just pop stay. out of the oven or stay because apparently it's very comfortable <laughs> which I don't mind because I'm gonna miss being pregnant a little bit until I don't miss being pregnant I'm doing the baby's laundry for the first time washing all of the stuff that we got from the baby showers and I'm using this specific baby um, laundry detergent called Dress, recommended by Pampers and it smells so cute. Like, I never knew that detergent could smell cute, but it does. It smells like super, I don't even know how to describe it. it smells like wipes and cuteness. I can't wait. 
I am kind of glad I didn't buy any extra stuff because we were blessed with abundance with all of the clothing and swaddles and towels and washcloths <laughs> and everything for the babes. So um, we're really, we're really fortunate with that. It seems like babes won't have more laundry than we do most of the time. Maybe. It is 2 a.m. Same day. Managed to finally finish doing the baby's laundry. Everything is put away. Nick was finally able to install some of the drawers in the furniture that we got. Um, I put together these little box things. <laughs> um, and so far, everything seems to be fitting. My contractions, uh, or what I think to be contractions, actually at this point I feel like they are contractions. Um, they've been getting a little more intense. And I feel like baby love is on the way probably within the next 48 to 72 hours i don't know we'll see what actually ends up happening but that's just my vibe right now shoot i'm a little nervous it may even happen tomorrow and i'm freaking out a little bit because this is what the room looks like it's still a mess hey guys it is thursday the 24th of march and it is t minus I think four, maybe five days. So baby, did some work for work since I'm still working part-time from home. And now I'm taking a break to get a manicure and pedicure because my feet look horrible. Aside from, like not the nail situation, like they're swollen. I would show you, but it's not so cute. That's why we're about to get it handled. <laughs> and um, I just wanna do something that makes me feel good. And after that, I will be getting pizza because for some reason I'm craving Pizza Hut pizza and I haven't had any pizza in a long time. So I'm gonna do that too. Today is a day of feel good and treat yourselves. I'm still pregnant. Even though last night I was feeling some serious um, contractions compared to what I'd been feeling before. And now I'm feeling like maybe we will last until Tuesday. We'll see. All right, I'm here now. Yay, Manny Petty. No Manny Petty today. I have to wait till tomorrow. Apparently they close at 7 and not 7.30. So, my feet gonna keep looking like that. Ooh. On another note though, I'm on my way to get that pizza down. Mm. So I'm back home. Pizza has been eaten. And now I am setting up some bedroom stuff. Nick is on his way back from work, but I kind of wanted to see what I could get done on my own because I can't stand the look of this room like this. But the belly's feeling good. I'm definitely full. I have four slices of pizza. This is like a whole new world for me. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to work, but I just wanted to give you guys this update. Baby room's coming along. I still can't believe we're having a baby. This is crazy. Okay. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't wanna do it anymore. But I really want this one to be finished. I've been working on this thing for like an hour. So many little pieces. I really didn't think that a pack and play involved so much. But I guess it's because it comes with the changing pad and <clears throat> a bouncer. But it's taking effing forever. Then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna watch TGIT, all the Shonda shows, and relax. Progress has been made. -la 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 -la. Look at what I did! I put the pack and play together! It almost is like a crib. It's as big as a crib would be, but it takes up a lot less room. And ours is super awesome because it comes with a changing table, storage stuff on the side. Then we also have a baby bouncer that vibrates. And it also comes with this cute little thing that has um, a light music options you can turn it up and has like different songs nature noises guess that's supposed to be a river birds in the woods a creek I don't know but I think it's pretty darn cool Baby's gonna be so relaxed and you can set the, a timer for 15 minutes up to 45 minutes uh, Depending on what you'd like. I feel like I'm done for the day. I want to do more, but I'm tired 
It is Friday, um, March 25th, 8.45 a.m. Um, good Friday. It's good Friday. And it may be a good Friday indeed because I think the baby's coming today. I was pretty spot on, I think, with the whole 48 to 72 hours thing. I've been having contractions since 3.45 in the morning. Um, I've been getting up every hour, twice an hour. This meds hurts. When I wasn't sure if they were contractions before, now I definitely know. I hope that this is the worst it gets, because if this is the worst it gets, I can deal with it. Any more than this, like maybe twice as much pain, I don't know, man. I was trying to do no epidural, but that may not be a possibility. But it seems like our little bun is ready to come out of the oven. So um, I'm waiting for the contractions to happen every five to seven minutes, lasting 45 seconds to a minute. At this point, um, they're happening about every 10 minutes. They've been happening every 10 minutes for the past five hours. I really want to get a manicure and pedicure today. I know that that's probably something I should not care about, but like my feet look really bad and I don't want them to stay that way. So <laughs> as soon as 10 o'clock hits, I'm hitting up the nail salon. After that, I think I'll be ready to go. <laughs> now 11 o'clock. Baby still hasn't come yet. Yay. I was not playing about that manicure and pedicure. I'm walking now, still having the contractions about every 10 minutes. They are growing slightly in intensity, but I think it'll be okay. Um, called my mom, bags are packed. Um, and I called my dad, called Nick's mom. She's gonna be meeting us in a little bit. Uh, showered and everything, and then we're gonna be headed to the hospital. I just, I really don't feel comfortable with my feet looking like this. Found out today that my doctor the way for the Easter holiday. Which I'm really sad about, so we're gonna be, um, if the baby comes today, we're gonna be working with a different doctor that I've never met before, but I trust Dr. Q, so if you trust her, then I guess I trust her too. We'll see what happens though. Hopefully she's awesome and doesn't try to force us to do anything we don't wanna do. Not that she can, because we hold the power. Yay, Manny Petty time. Nails are done and dry. Toes are done and dry. I'm feeling a lot better. Contractions are coming a lot more often though. Uh, right after this, I'm going to the apartment. And from there, um, Nick and my mother in law and I are going to speak to the hospital because it's definitely getting really intense. But I feel a lot better now that this is done. I feel like I can go with this and I'll show you my feet finally. It's swollen, but at least they're cute. <laughs> I'm not amused. We're in the car on our way to the hospital. Well, we're on our way to the hospital. But I haven't eaten all day. So we're stopping to get a sandwich because once I get there, I've heard I won't be able to eat. And I like to eat. And aside from that, I'm actually really hungry. I'm using bathroom all night. I know that's probably TMI. I should stop. But it's the truth. It's my experience. My story. And I'm telling it. But yeah, so I'm getting a chicken panini. But it's been taking a really long time. And with that, I've been getting these contractions every... It feels like five to seven minutes. I don't know. I just know that I just wanted to stop. And I don't know if this baby has dropped yet, which kind of makes me nervous because I don't know how it's going to work if it hasn't dropped yet. Because I don't want to be experiencing this for another couple of days. Yeah, they're here. I know, I'm she went from being so. like, I'm in pain. Oh my gosh. I am in pain. I didn't oh, say let's I make done. a video. Because <laughs> no, I needed to update. I needed, I needed to update. Update who? The, the memory. I need to update That's the process. They don't know where we are right now. Right it's now, all, we're in St. Joseph's. It's all right here. Hospital. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nick Nick has been recording on his GoPro. He yeah. says, he says, 
He's gonna have it on during delivery. I say it's gonna be looking at the ceiling most of the time because he's gonna pass out. Hello. <laughs> this is mommy. On top of my head. Mommy Carlene. Hi. Uh, you guys know her. Uh, <laughs> you guys know her. I think so. No. Okay. Yeah, you guys are gonna see all this stuff. What are you doing? Hopefully, I don't want to say this baby comes out of me today, but hopefully because I can't go through another two days of this. And then we'll have an Easter baby, a Good Friday baby. How exciting would that be? <laughs> to have a good baby on a Good Friday. I have a, no, this be a Friday baby. A good, a good Friday, Friday baby. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until the next one, live rich and happy dream chasing. The delivery process was really smooth, really great. Um, we didn't go in with a birthing plan, uh, but we did want to have a natural birth. And so it worked out as well as it could. And by 11.29 p.m., she was born. Thanks. He thinks it's going down, babe. It's You're going not down. Keeping that on. It's going down. Got a GoPro. Ready for my activity. What's your activity? I don't know. Diving in. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling. <laughs> Emily's way. Hey, I love hey, being pregnant, but some things were not so hot. The hormones gave me pimples. My face looked like a boy in a pop. For months, I breastfed and pumped my nips. Talking uh -huh. 70 pounds and lost my edges, but she makes it worth it. Y'all did a couple.